So my response to the COVID-19 vaccine. Am I planning on taking it? Hell to the fucking yeah. I plan on getting back with my life, getting back on track with my life, because I'm sure just like many other um individuals right now, it have impacted us in a way whereby, you know, we can do the general things we normally do before. I mean like going out, be going to basic socializing events. Um, going to a random sex cabinet, or even you know the biggest and most important things, making money as we normally do. So am I taking it? Of course. So if I have the option, which one am I going to take? But I'm not gonna lie, Pfizer and Moderna are at the top of my list. Not too trusting of. AstraZeneca or the others. I'm not sure why, but um, as we can clearly see from the US, um, they're back on track with everything, basically right now. And bitch, simply put, I want the, what the fuck they are having. I don't know why, I just trust their shit. Now don't just take my word and take it. Like literally do your own research. You know what, get back on track. You know what, live your life. Hello? I mean, stay safe, stay distant. Do what you're supposed to do. All I want to live. But we only can live for so long. You know? No give your life for the moment. COVID-19 affects everybody. I've had some people in my life who it have personally affected. And if you just stay distant, stay safe, stay to yourself for the time being, I'm sure that you'll be safe. You'll get back on track in no time. My advice on people who are taking it right now, you're a champion, you're a leader. I'm not going to tell you, like, big up on yourself, big up everyone on right now. <laughs> you get me? All of you out there who have been vaccinated, as I'm speaking at this current moment, big up yourself. Trust me. You do yourself a favor by helping us as individuals who have not yet taken it. But I am planning on taking it. Don't get me wrong. You get me? I just want a particular type. That's my choice. For the indecisive who are still scared regarding taking the vaccine, um, you know, if you need some time, take your time. Do your own research. But in the moment, stay safe and stay distant because it have affected um, people I've known. I'm sure at some point it have affected some other people you know. And you just need for, what you need to do right now for keep safe. Life will eventually come back on track, but it just takes time. Do what you need to do, adhere to the rules, and, I'm, and trust me, I'm sure you'll be okay anytime soon. Hey guys, Shadi's Life here. So I'm here to talk on what I feel about the COVID-19 vaccine. Personally, I don't think I would be, I will be taking it. I have my suspicion towards it. I'm not against anyone who's taken it, but my personal views is AIDS and cancer has been out for so long and they've been struggling to find a cure for it. But this new virus comes out that has been killing everyone and they suddenly find the cure or the vaccine for it and it's literally forcing everyone to take it. And I've seen it have so many side effects on people, which it makes me somewhat scared to take it so honestly i'm a little afraid to say i'm gonna take it i really don't think i'm gonna do it i'll often see someone that's close to me do it and see they survive from it because i feel like they're making this vaccine to i don't know wipe out the human race i could be wrong i could it, i could be just paranoid but I, I just find it weird how aids has been out for so long and cancer and they can't come up with a cure but suddenly they came they come up with something for covid19 in just the space of a year that's just very suspicious to me so i have my reasons why i don't think i'll be taking it i i don't know and i i think i know one person that said they did it that's a nurse and she had a little side effect from it like she felt numb so personally for me i don't think i'll be taking it but if you guys want to take it i'm not stopping you it's really up to you you know but for me no that's a no-go for me honestly and at least for now it's a no-go for me but that's Obviously, my views towards it, I could be wrong because I don't know, but who knows? Remember, Shelly's from Shelly's Life, guys. Hi, guys. This is your girl, Sean, from Sean and Cody. 
and I'm dedicating this video to Tiana and Tony Laws to the question what is your response to the COVID-19 vaccine I think it was a good gesture whoever came up with that idea about the vaccine because I mean just imagine the virus is there we can't cure it we can't kill it we can't treat it no nothing you understand and at least when you do take the vaccine it is a protection against future diseases like you know the in other same category as the covid and stuff so i mean one of the best things since covid yeah the vaccine are you planning on taking it of course i mean when it comes down to that part i will i will i'm not gonna say oh if i have to take it then i will take it yes i will i will take it and my reason for taking it i have a weak immune system as breeze blow anything me catch it mm -hmm. very anemic and the whole nine yards i mean yeah i think i will take it i don't think yes i will take it and what's my advice to other people so <clears throat> people out there who are saying oh me not take the vaccine and this and that and oh you're gonna shake and you're dead and i mean educate yourselves first before coming to a conclusion not just be out there and be listening to everybody who them cuss out the vaccine and the this and you know but educate yourselves first and i think yes everybody should take the vaccine hey guys i'm shans and i'm devs from, from journey, journey with shans and devs hi tiana and hi, tony, tony laws <laughs> so our question is what is your response to the covid19 vaccine well, I believe you should do your research, go online, search for any side effects that you think the vaccine may have on you. Um, ultimately, it's your choice. We want to get back to life. We want to get back to traveling and all the things that we can't do because of COVID-19. So yeah, I took my first dose. So yeah, and I'll be taking my first dose soon. Actually, I don't know when, but when it becomes available, I'll definitely be taking the vaccine. And I believe that the reason why I want to take the vaccine is because in the event I do get COVID-19, then you know I stand a fighting chance, as opposed to if I don't get a vaccine. So I definitely want to do it for all the reasons that Debs just said, and also because of that. So yes, do your own research. Don't let nobody force you to take it if you don't want to. And if you do want to take the vaccine, just take it whenever you feel comfortable to do that. So yes, you can just research whichever one you want. There are a variety of them out there now. You know, the one that's available, you feel more comfortable with, you can definitely go ahead and take that one. So yes, we believe that you yep. should take the vaccine if you are comfortable enough to do so. Okay. Yep. So yeah, get Pretty vaccinated much. if you want to. All right, so the next question was, what is my response on um, COVID-19 vaccine? All right, well, I don't really know a lot about COVID-19 vaccine because I wasn't interested. But anyway, I think it is a, a, a good idea. And why I said I think it's a good idea, because it's obvious that you're trying to find some form of resolution, some form of solution in regards to um taking care of this or finding a cure towards this um, virus, right? However, I don't think that the government or the upper edge should be pushing on the vaccine to people. Everyone have a choice, so basically they should give us choice to see if whether or not we want to take it. People is going to be scared of taking the vaccine because, I mean, we hear that a lot of people getting sick we hear that people dead because of this vaccine the side effects and stuff that it brings people is going to be scared so basically i think that they should have done i don't think that because they're so um eager to find a solution or a resolution or a cure for this vaccine so basically them just probably does already come up with something i don't know because as i said i didn't study um nothing on the vaccine i'm just talking from my perspective my point of view Right, so basically I feel like they just come up with this vaccine, um, like they just already come up with something, put it that way. 
and I just push it on to people to try to see if it actually works. However, yes, it might work for some people, but then the side effects for others, it's disastrous because people is dying over here or people will have much outbreak and whatever and whatever whatnot. But I mean, with any medication, you know, there are side effects still. So there's a good side and there's a bad side to it. But basically, personally to me, I feel like they should do more research on this vaccine and ensure that it don't kill nobody. Because if something is supposed to heal you, it's not supposed to take your life. I mean, if yes, if it have a side effects, well, that's okay. Because you know, everybody be look different. So therefore, we have to understand that, yeah. It have got to have a side effects if certain people have this 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 type of um condition or this type of sickness or this type of illness or whatever. So basically, you know that if these people are ill and you know that the side effects will be detrimental towards these people, don't give it to them. Don't give it to them because if you know say it's a possibility that it might kill them, why would you want to give it to them? Why would you want to administer a drug to someone that you know the outcome might be death? That doesn't make no sense, it's irrelevant. You're trying to cure people, but yet you're trying to kill people at the same, um, same time. So you know about the vaccine. You know what side effects it will bring in regards to people who have certain type of illness. You know if it will be detrimental or it will be just some, some simple side effects that can treat and will, they'll get over. Administer it to those persons that you know that it's not detrimental to, but you're just going to go ahead and give it to... to just force people to take it because you think it's a cure? No, I don't agree with that. And the mere fact that they're talking about some, some people are saying that if you, can't, if you don't take the vaccine, you can't travel. You have other work, per, workplace saying that if you don't take the vaccine, you will lose your job and stuff like that. I feel like that is BS. That is BS because at the end of the day, people is supposed to have choice. So basically, when you have your choice, you decide if you want to take it, yes or no. I am not going to want to take it because if I hear that it's killing people, it's doing people all sorts of things, then why would I want to take something like that? I'm not trying to kill myself, so why would I want to take something like that? Right? So those are the reasons why people are scared of taking the vaccine. It's not like people don't want to take it because people really want to take it because a lot of people don't want to catch corona and if they find something that they can actually use to, to calm this virus or slow it down or whatever the cases are or whatever it is. We're going to want to take it, but then if we realize that it's something that is going to kill us, it might kill us, it's a 50-50 chance, then nobody now going to want to take it. So whoever billing the scientists that is studying this vaccine or putting this vaccine out, I think they should do more research on this vaccine, more work on this vac vaccine. And as I said earlier on, if you're going to administer it to people, because I hear that depending on the person, that's where the side effects come in and how it might cause death or whatever. But if you realize that I have arthritis and say for instance, I don't know, I'm just saying. So if me have arthritis and you know if I take the vaccine, I will die. Don't give me the vaccine. So if a next person out there and, the other, and they have sickle cell and if they take the vaccine they will not die give it to that person why would you want to give me something that will kill me that's just basically what i'm saying so that was just my two cent on the vaccine thing i mean as i said i don't know a lot about it but i just feel like i i know what is going on in the world i see things i hear things so that i'm just responding in regards to that but i'm just saying that yes it's a good idea to actually trying to find something to kill out this COVID-19 where kill off people, but I mean we should think about what will happen before we actually administer administer the, 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 the vaccine. If it is detrimental to a person, don't give it to them. And give people choice to choose whether or not they want to take it. Don't force people. Don't tell me I can't take a plane if I don't take the vaccine. Don't tell me I don't, I'm going to lose my job if I don't take the vaccine. That, that don't make any sense. It's basically like you're pushing on to me, you're telling me that I have to do it no matter if I want to, yes or no. Give people a choice to decide if they want to take it. Me rather for no say I can protect myself from COVID and try my best not to catch it than to go ahead and take a vaccine that I know is a 50-50 chance that I might die. I'm not going to want to take the vaccine. I'm going to try to protect myself from COVID and try to see if and hope that I don't catch it.
But when you know you might take a vaccine that might kill you, oh God, where are you going to live with yourself? You know the period that you take it, you are going to sit down every day. The frustration and the worry alone will kill you before the vaccine. You understand? So, guy, um, for whoever is doing this vaccine thing, I just have to say, I can do a little more research on it and uh, just not force somebody to take it. Is it? Right, this one.